G'day guys, Bogan Bill here, down in Cal Barry National Park with Wondergasm. And today, we're gonna to bring you some bush survival techniques. Good on ya. So guys, the first thing you wanna do when you're lost in the bush is look for a clean, solid water supply. Now, to do that, you wanna feel around in the ground for the moisture in the ground. Follow it until you think you've found a viable supply of water. What do you fucking know? There's one right there. Let's have a drink. Ew! I don't fucking drink that shit. <laughs> There's a lot of actual food in the bush. A lot of people just don't know where to look for it. Right? Now, I'm gonna have a look around now. All you need to do is have a sniff of the air. See if you can smell any food supply. Anything. I mean, hang on, what's that? I think I've found something. Follow me, guys. Just gonna follow my trusty nose here. I think I know what this might be. Yeah, fucking oath. It's an egg, a velociraptor egg. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to cook it. Now you've found your egg, the next thing you wanna do is cook it. And to do that, you wanna find yourself a nice big flat rock, just like this. In the bush, rocks are also known as nature's frying pans. Can you believe that? Okay, so you've got your frying pan, you've got your egg, put the egg on the frying pan, just like you're at home. Just like this, mate. And that egg should actually cook in about two to three minutes. It's going well, boys. Place that there, I'll save that for later. I'll actually show you a nice little trick to do with the eggshell. You can get some gum tree leaves, dry it out. Just season that egg, you know? Put it on top. That actually adds a little bit of flavor to the egg. I reckon that's about ready now. So I'm just gonna have a little taste. Oh yeah, fucking. Mm, that's really fucking nice. Now, I'm not gonna eat all of that because I'm not a greedy prick. Now, remember that eggshell from earlier? I oh, sure do. Now, I'm gonna show you a neat little trick when you're out in the bush, how to use an eggshell for a useful purpose, right? What you wanna do is take the two halves, just like that, separate them, and you can actually use the eggshell as a water container. Would you believe it? So what you wanna do is get down to the water's edge, and just fill it up like that. And it'll actually hold that water for a good month or two. And you can just put the egg back together, just like that. Wouldn't even drip. You can see it's not even dripping. Like, there's no water coming out of that. Fucking solid, see? You can put that in your back pocket, mate. Just walk around the bush with it. Feel thirsty? Just have a little sit. Just like that. Fucking beauty. Good on ya. Now, another thing you wanna make sure you've got when you're out in the bush, very vital survival tool, is a knife. Bigger, the sharper, the better. Now, I always carry this knife with me wherever I go. What I do is I keep it in here for safekeeping. Very dangerous. You wanna make sure you're very careful around these things, guys, because they're very sharp and they will cut you. This can be used to protect yourself against predators such as velociraptors, pterodactyls, anything, mate. You don't know what you got out here in the fucking bush. I'm gonna show you a few ways to use this knife out in the bush. Sometimes you could be lost in the bush for days and you can get extremely hungry. Now, you might not always be as lucky as me and you might not always be able to find an egg. But the next best thing is we've tracked down a turd. Right here, we have a selection of turds. No, three to four. Now you just take your pick, mate. And this is where the knife comes in handy because you can actually use this knife, bush knife, to cut these boys open and serve them up. But it might not look very tasty when you've been in the bush for a few days. You really do get to eat this stuff. Mmm, that's fucking tasty. <laughs> so guys, the next thing you want to do is learn to make a fire. You want shelter and you want warmth to survive the night in the bush. Now what I've got here is two rocks and some tinder. No, not the date net, some actual tinder wood. Now what we're gonna do is use the original method that the actual hunter gatherers from this area used to do to make fire. Now what you wanna do is get the rocks like this, just bang them together. If you keep doing this for a good five to 10 minutes, you'll hopefully get a spark, and that spark will light the wood. As you can see, I only ever use traditional methods when I'm in the bush. You'll never see me using anything from modern day technology. Now look, you can see, oh look, I've got some flames. You can see that guys, sparks coming from the rocks. Fuck. Now, I'm not actually gonna start a fire because I don't need it, but as you can see, it's a very successful method to get this firewood going. Just like that, guys. G'day guys, welcome back to Wilderness Survival Tips with Wondergasm and Bogan Bill. Last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to build a shelter. Every successful wilderness explorer can build a shelter, protect themselves from the elements and predators. I'm gonna do both right now. If you follow me, I've actually uh, pre-built this little area here. Now what it is is, what you can see here, you've actually got protection from all three sides. No predators can get them from there, there, or there. 
I've actually also got some greens here, which if I get hungry in the night, just have a little chop. You know, keep me going, keep me energy levels up. Finally, I'm gonna put the final barrier on my protection shelter, just like that. Nothing can get in, nothing can get out. See that? It's safe. That'll actually also deter any potential predators that might try and creep up me in the night. And I can happily sleep here for days. I mean, fucking ages, mate. Like, I'll just have a snooze now. No one would know. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more wilderness tips. You never know when you might need them. Peace, guys. Off, mate. Trying to record here. Fuck. Anyway, guys.